There are three ways to create the list of materials for an e-order. This video demonstrates QuickDraw. The first thing to do is select a fence height. I'll choose 48 inch. This blue dot signifies where the fence will start. Click and drag it to move the starting point. To enter the footage for a stretch, you can click the numbers on the keypad on the screen or use the keypad on your keyboard. I'll enter a footage of 50 and then click this arrow so the program knows which direction to draw the line. Notice you can draw 45 degree lines also. I'll enter another stretch. If you entered an incorrect stretch measurement or direction, you can click this undo button. As you can see, it keeps removing the previous stretch each time you click it. I'll just draw the same layout back in. To add a gate, click on the Add Gate icon. Choose Single or Double. Enter the gate width in feet. Click OK and then click a directional arrow so the program knows how to place the gate. I'll finish entering my layout. I want to return to my starting point. I could figure out the footage needed to do that, but there is an easier way. You can click on Close Path and the program automatically figures the amount of footage to return to the starting point. Of course, this only applies if you need to enter an enclosed layout. Notice some tools at the top. You can zoom in, zoom out, or fit to screen. When you are finished entering the layout, click Get Quote. Choose the type of fence you are ordering and the style specs, including the section width. Notice up here how this button reads Spec Incomplete and More Information. The More Information button is handy because you can click to see what specs are missing. Continue by going to the rest of the tabs and choosing the parts you want. Here's a little shortcut. If your line and quarter post have the same cap as the end, you can just copy it. If you need to order a gate, select the gate. Check mark user fabricated gate if you plan to use your own gate but need to order the hinges and latches. There will not be a gate on the list of materials if you choose user fabricated. The reason this option needs to be here is so the program knows the gate posts that are needed along with the hinges and latches. I'll choose a gate. There is a shortcut here that you can copy the end post specs to the hinge post if they are the same. You can copy the end post to the latch post also. I don't need a stiffener so I don't need to select one. When you are done this button will change to Spec Complete and the More Info button will go away. Next, click Calculate to generate the quantities. You can change the quantity of an item if you want. You can also add new lines. I'll add two of 5885 and click Add Item. You can also look up a part. I'll look up one I want a blank post. Click search, puts all the blank posts. Choose the one I want, select add item. The items marked S for stock are stocked at your local Merchants Metals Service Center subject to quantities on hand. The items NS for non-stock are typically not stocked at the local service center but which are readily available. The estimator will price out these items on your quote or order. The items marked CFQ for call for quote are non-regional or freight sensitive items. The estimator will not return a price for these specific items. 
the rest of the quote will price, but you must contact your local service center for a quote on the CFQ items. You must enter a job name before getting the prices. If you don't, the program pops up this message. So just enter the job name and click price. Keep in mind that the total price is for the items that were priced and there may or may not be some call for quote items in the list. You can print a copy of the materials list for your records. When you click the printer icon, the program automatically creates a PDF file. When you are ready to place your order, click on the e-order button. Choose your order type, delivery or pickup, and your requested delivery or pickup date. If you choose delivery, you can change the shipping address. When you are ready, click the Submit button and a Merchants Metals representative will contact you to confirm your order.